Welcome back. Just putting the finishing touches, kind of smoothing out, evening out a coat of ink here on the back of a plex or on the face of a plexiglass plate. And then that looks good. Then I'm going to drop some paper on top of that ink and do what's called an ink transfer drawing. So I'm going to transfer ink by applying pressure to the back of this paper, transferring the ink to the front. And in the end I'll put a little watercolor on it too. Now the ink is inside a rectangle of tape and I can feel that tape and that tells me where I need to do my drawing. Here's the corner. There we are. I'm going to draw a little pup. Little I don't know what. <laughs> but he's pretty darn cute. Um, He's got a little, little bit of nose here, so I'm just, boy I can't really see that, it's pretty dark. I guess that's the upside of it, it's pretty dark, so I can make it pretty dark. Wow, he's a cute little bug. So... Got big dark eyes. So dark is just a little extra pressure with the pen, transfers a little extra ink to the underside. There we go. <laughs> he makes me laugh. Oh, well, you got some little white whiskers here, too. That makes him look more like a dog. Hmm. Well, let's put this ear in here. 
I might not have left enough room for the whole ear. That's right. No, I didn't. Suppose this is a Boston Terrier, maybe? My wife grew up with Boston Terriers. She had one they named Pogo, and then it lost its leg. <laughs> Jumped around on three legs for the rest of its life. Did just fine, but um, goodness. What are the odds of naming a dog Pogo and then having it lose its leg? Sometimes I think I like doing this just because it's a pretty good excuse to scribble. Hmm. Well, he's got little rolls of fat, too. <laughs> he just gets cuter the more you look at him. <laughs> I think he's a puppy. Oh, he's got chubby little toes, too. Yesterday I had my puppy out here while I was drawing. I'm in my studio, which is out in the barn, and um, but anyway, yesterday I had my puppy, so there was a lot of distractions while I drew. Got a little butt sticking out back here. Hmm. 
Oh, and there's a real roll of blubber right here. Loose skin. Maybe he's a little bulldog, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to put him on something. So I have some ground here to set him on. And I can touch this. Maybe I want to put this spot in a little more too. <laughs> now I can uh, can add darks and lights. Yeah, there's some details you start to really look here. So I can add a dark, a little bit of dark, or just by touching the back of this. And then I think I'll put some dark, kind of just a shadow down here underneath him. There we go. And maybe it's time to paint, take a little peek. Um, take that tape off and I can take a peek here, see what I got. Yeah, I can do the, the rest with just watercolor. So I'll take the tape off now and You can start thinking of a name for him. Or maybe I will. I'm the one who has to uh, come up with a, uh, with a name. Now you'll notice everything is backwards. The, the dark side over here is now over here. So when I paint this, I'm going to have to paint backwards. Just get a little, 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 little bit of pink. That's too pink. Uh, that's about right. He's got a little pink there, and he's got a little pink around this eye. <laughs> he is cute. Pink in that eye. Pink a little pink around his nose. A little bit of pinkish. 
out here, down underneath him. Yeah, I need a little water and get a little lighter even. So water is how I lighten watercolor. They're, they do make a white watercolor, but almost no one uses it. I'm not using it. Um, oh, he's got cute little toes here. And they're a little more orangish than pink. And a little bit here too. A little bit here too. And I'll come back with a little brown. See how dark that brown is. Should be about right. Uh, so I'll put the brown in and then I'll come back with a darker. He's got a little bit of black on him too. Watercolor traditionally, or most effectively probably, is used by working from light to dark. So, nasty stuff in my paint. I don't know what that is. Alright, let's put this little spot in on him here. A little bit down in there. Boy, he doesn't have much for spots. A little bit right here. Let's clean things up a little bit and let's um, see if we can get a kind of a light Oh, I forgot some brown. Let's let's go back to brown. Let's get this in order. Oh, I forgot this year. Yeah, it helps. Okay. Clean up a little bit. And let's get that black going. I don't actually have black, I have what's called Payne's Gray. Little bits of it. There he is. That's kind of cute. And and I can do his nose too. And then, well, a little more Payne's Gray in this other ear, too. I'm going to lighten that Payne's Gray quite a bit and do some washes. Light. A light color is called a wash. Watery paint. You wash with water, right? Okay. 
come back with color in the background. Just a light wash again. Or a little darker wash. Accidents happen. Let's get rid of some of that. That's all right. Have a little darker on one side. And let's just. A little green background here. I've already got the shadows in on this green foreground, I guess. Pick up a little more paint. Just a tint. I almost think maybe, I almost think maybe just a touch of really, really light blue. That kind of helps. Tie things together a little. There we go. There we go. Now if I had a name for him, I could sign this. Title, signature, and 2020 for the date. I just called him just called him Scamp. And um, he should be sitting around somewhere in the lobby where you're watching this video. And if you can find Scamp in the pile of drawings, you can take him home. That's kind of why he's there. Hope you had fun watching. Bye-bye.